Okay, team, let's take a moment and talk about beginner readers and early phonics instruction. And when we think about a beginner reader, because you see that term a lot used on these exams, we're going to be thinking about a range that's around kindergarten. I think kindergarten is probably the best time frame to look at, you know, students that are between five and six. But again, like we've said in the class, this could be also for beginner readers. This also could impact some first graders. And if it, that were the case, they'd be around six to seven. Or we could look at, you know, some pre-K, pre-kindergarten students, and that would be maybe four to five. So we're looking at this range, four to five, five to six, six to seven of beginner readers and thinking about how they begin to do that letter sound correspondence. Most beginner readers, I would say almost all beginner readers, they start off with words that have short vowels. And we're going to start off with the most decodable words, like CVC words. CVC words like cat, sip, bug, map. Every letter or every grapheme is associated with one very predictable phoneme. So we have cat here. Every letter matches up with one sound. If you know the alphabetical principle, words like cat, sip, map, mat, sat, hat, they're very decodable. So this is definitely the first place you'd start. And if you're working on a decodable text, you'd probably be using a decodable text that used a lot of CDC words. Like for example, we've referenced the Bob books before. These are books that use a lot of CDC words like mat and sat. They're, they're really good words to start off with because every letter matches up with one predictable sound. Um, and then as the student advances uh, and learns a little bit more, they start to add in blends. So we might start to deal with blends. This is two consonants that make two separate sounds that are blended together, like cast or tent or lift or fist. These are all words, you know, that have that, that consonant blend. Sometimes it's at the end, sometimes it's at the beginning. But constant blends would be the next thing that we'd want to work on with students. Coming across words that have two constants together that we can sound out and then blend together. A good one we did earlier was frog, right? F, r, a, g. It's got a constant blend in the beginning. So that would be an example of a C, C, V, C word. So these are, these are very decodable words. They're all words with, which have a short vowel. Uh, and then as we progress even further, we're going to start to add on other things. Maybe we'll add on some diagraphs, constant diagraphs. Constant diagraphs are when we have two constants that make one sound, like SH and CH and PH and WH. Um, a student would have to learn this, that SH makes the SH sound. But this would still be in the realm of beginner phonics. And again, these words are, have a short vowel. And then finally, we get a little bit more complicated. I, I know you're looking at this C, C, V, C, C, but we're looking at a pattern here. Constant, constant, vowel, constant, constant. And here we have, you know, maybe a blend, a short vowel, a diagraph, constant diagraph, two constants that make one sound. Here we have a blend, a vowel, short vowel, another constant diagraph, right? So these are all really really common, very decodable beginner words for a beginner reader. I notice that they're all the vowels are short vowels and, and they all are considered closed vowels or closed syllables. So a closed syllable is whenever we have a vowel preceded by a consonant. When we have that, you're going to have a short vowel. So look at this. All these have a vowel consonant, vowel consonant, vowel consonant vowel consonant consonant so in this case right here that vowel is going to be short and that's what we have in all these words so in this closed vowel we have a short vowel we'll talk about open vowel uh, open syllables in a little bit but for now these are closed syllables and they have a short vowel which means that these vowels are very predictable ah i e a right they are very predictable vowel sounds. And it's only when we add on a little bit extra, like all these would be very beginner decodable words. But when we got to magic E, that would be something that we'd have to clarify because that vowel constant magic E, that E is silent and it makes the vowel long. That would be a new phonics rule to learn. So that would be actually a little bit harder than all the words that we're seeing here.
So when we think about phonics, we're going to, in a little bit, we're going to talk about that progression, that systematic progression. But definitely for a beginner reader, they'd be starting off with very basic decodable words like CDC words or words with blends and diagraphs and usually words, single syllable words that all have a, uh, a short vowel. And as we progress, we'll get on to more, more complex rules like, uh, like the magic E or silent E which gives it a long vowel, we'll add on those, but that's gonna be a little bit harder, okay? All right, let's try this question here.